So this is my 07 FJR 1300. And um, last year I changed all the radiator hoses, but they didn't have these two small diameter hoses that go to the, it's a cold high idle wax valve. And uh, so a month ago or so, I replaced these two and then the thing would not start it would not cold start uh, i would have to pump the throttle and all along it just seems like it's been uh, a problem with not enough fuel when it's starting up so the system's pretty simple uh four throttle bodies fuel injectors on the fuel rail coming from an electric pump in the tank and this right here is a pressure sensor. There's four hoses that go to that pressure sensor. It's sensing, I guess, the intake manifold pressure, let's say. Um, something, some port on the throttle bodies. There's also four hoses here that go down to this valve. This valve is low idle or idle uh, control. There's a cable comes out the side of it down to this adjuster idle adjustment the the pair system on this bike which was hooked to these four one two three four spots and plugged in here and hooked up here is gone sorry took it off don't tell carb people so um, I'm going to go through the diagnostic and I'll explain to you the other inputs to the ECM, which controls all this stuff. I don't know. I'm going to guess this here is a pressure control for fuel pressure in the rail. Down here is a throttle position sensor, coolant temperature sensor, intake air box temperature sensor, that pressure sensor down here, a CO2 sensor in the exhaust. That's about it. So to check diagnostics on this, try to do this one handed, hold both buttons and turn on the switch and hold them one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Diagnostic mode, hold for another two seconds. One, two, and you're into the diagnostic mode. And mode number one is, says 16. That's throttle position sensor. And mine goes from 16 to 101. And you can go up through the menu. Number mine skips number two. I guess I don't have an atmospheric pressure sensor. Would be two. This number three at a hundred happens to be this intake pressure sensor. I unplugged it and I got 122. I put a vacuum gauge on it and sucked it down to about 10 inches of uh, mercury vacuum and got 65. I don't know if that's right or not. I'd like another, somebody else at least run this and tell me if you're at a hundred, you know, sitting at sea level. Maybe somebody in Denver is at 85 or 90. That'd be cool. Number four, 68 is air box temperature. I, uh, when I unplug that, I unplug that, that one's easier to unplug. I'll do that one. When I unplug that, I get minus 22. 129. So I've had this fired up this morning. So that's a coolant temperature sensor. And if you unplug that, you get minus 22. Plug it back in. 
back to 129. I'm assuming that's Fahrenheit. Diagnostic code seven, zero. This is something. Oh, seven is vehicle speed sensor. 25 when I spin the wheel. I don't know if it goes back. Thirty-nine. Maybe it's just counting. I think it's just counting. So if you just do it enough times, it's just counting. Up to 84. Point six is the lean angle, tip over lean angle safety switch. I think point four to one point four is normal. I have not tested that. Eleven point six is the battery battery voltage uh this is the side stand and i think that's a neutral switch 2021 20 is side stand which i think throws an error code of eight when we get to error codes and uh 21 is neutral switch. 30 and 31, what you do is if you turn the kill switch off and back on, it will stroke the uh, coils, coil bank one and three, coil bank two and four, five times. I suppose, I don't know, does it, does it fire the spark plugs? with a voltmeter you could tell what's going on i assume that's okay because the thing does run just not very good 36 37 38 and 39 if you turn that on and off it strokes one two three and four injectors respectively five times 48 says air solenoid so we turn that off and back on maybe my air solenoid isn't working hmm no idea don't hear anything I don't see anything really plugged in I assume I don't know this goes to something that's the throttle position sensor this goes and in, plugs into the oh there's that thing right there i think that's an oil pressure sensor no i'd have to look on i don't know it doesn't seem to come into the diagnostic maybe i'll have to check out why 48 doesn't seem to do something 50 gas pump on and off five times. 51. Yeah, that's a radiator fans. On and off. On and off five times. Two, three, four, five. Fifty-two turns the headlights on and off five times. So on this, the little weir worrying you here is the fans on my LED lights. Fifty-seven. I think it just is a test for the idiot light. My idiot light is working. 60 is 
error codes. Let's see how this goes. So 60 is a, a history of the error code. So it lists all the error codes that it's thrown. I have cleared mine. 61, if you turn on and off the kill switch, that will clear the error codes. And 62 is the number of, the quantity of error codes in there. And I have zero. And 70 is the end of it. And by the way, if you push the right button, you go backwards through the list. So everything seems to be working. I'm surprised there's nothing like an input from the O2 sensor on this. And I need to check out the air solenoid valve. So I'll fire it up and show you things I've tested. Again, other than changing out that coolant hose that goes down to the wax valve that strokes the high idle, high cold idle, uh, I've not really done anything to it. And I've double checked, tri triple checked, quadruple checked all my hoses. It just doesn't want to start. So this idle is really lousy. Even if I put pull the, it's warmed up a little bit because I've run it some. But even at high idle, if it were cold, it's like it's running lean. I've done the test, uh, you know, that doesn't help. This helps. I don't know. Um, if you have any ideas on why this thing won't start and run, it's acting like it's lean. Maybe I'll just have to take the injectors, send them in, and have them test it, bench test it, make sure they're squirting right. Um, boy, it ran great in South Dakota and Montana. Of course, at higher altitude, you're going to run richer, right? North bikes is going to run richer unless it adjusts based on air pressure, which it should. I don't know why. It ran great for eight days, 3,600 miles. Every morning, fire right up like it's supposed to. I get back, and it's back to doing the same thing it was before. Maybe I'll just take those coolant hoses off and put the old ones back on. I don't know. Somebody tell me what their uh, pressure. Tell me what, your, what you get on your diagnostic for your pressure sensor. I, I'm at 100 at 200 foot elevation. Maybe if a guy in Denver is at like 85 or 90, that'd be helpful. Maybe I could swap, swap ECMs with somebody, but I don't know anybody other than my brother in Michigan. That's a long way to go to swap out ECM, see if this thing will run right with somebody else's ECM. Even once it's up, like it's up to three bars, it's still not running for crap. It likes a little laughing gas. That's what it should do. I could try and sink the carbs. I do not know. If you have any ideas for an 07 FGR 1300 that does not want to start, it's cold blooded, seems to be running lean, let me know. Put it in the comments. Thank you much. Talk to you later.